Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Amit Orange and welcome to the review for the MU Bumblebee model that I have right here. If you've been following my channel, you've seen that I've been working on this guy for quite a while now. The MU builds take quite a bit of time, at least the large Transformers models that I occasionally work on and this one is no exception. This one has taken a grand total of six videos to put together because I try not to make them too long. There's really no way to give the detail that I give and tips that I give and make a short video on a build this long and complicated. And look at this. That is just a wonderful looking detailed model. I am, as usual, quite impressed with the final outcome. He's got this really cool relaxed pose. And interestingly enough, this particular model is actually built in two sections. As you can see here, there's magnets hidden inside, and you have to be careful as you're putting it together that those magnet magnetic poles line up, and that's what holds them together. It only holds them so well, though. There we go. You gotta get it just right, or it'll fall off. He also has a radio that comes with him. I've got that sitting behind me here. The radio also has a magnet so it can stick on, say, his knee, which is what they show in the picture. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of gold pieces, and the gold pieces are not magnetic. So there are certain places that it will stick to, and certain places that it will not, because, well, there's a little bit of metal in there, but, or, yeah. Some places it'll stick to, some places it will not. But what? A wonderful build and there's so much detail in this model and, and obviously a lot of that detail is put in there by MU and their abilities to make these models with this level of detail but the detail comes from somewhere Bumblebee himself is wonderfully detailed and if you look at the back here you can see the door pieces swung up and out of the way back windows door pieces you can see the headlights you can see one thing that really I find amusing because I haven't seen the movie yet is you can see the belt and what looks like the drive shaft of the engine and one of the accessories. It's been a while since I've worked on a Volkswagen engine but I do remember a little bit about them. And you can see some of the, I guess, engine parts in there. There's just so much detail to it and it's so wonderful. Now this one did not take quite as long as Optimus Prime or Megatron. This took a grand total of 14 hours to put together, which is still quite a bit of time to put one model together, but Megatron I think took a total of 24, so not as long. Did it feel like it took 24 hours? Yeah, kinda, because there was so much detail with it, and there's so much gold, and the gold metal is not magnetic, and it's softer and it's a lot less forgiving than the other metal. So the gold, you really have to be careful with that you don't bend it too much, that you don't overstress it, and that you don't make mistakes because it will not give you much of a chance to correct it before it breaks. And there was one of the arms, this one right here, you can tell the seam split. And that's one of the problems that I had trying to get this shape just right, and I overflexed it and made too many adjustments, and it started to break here. One of the things that I did proud of myself for this one is I saw that it was weakening I could feel that it was getting less resistant which means it's about to break I stopped what I was doing I put a piece of clear tape to hold that together and I carefully with that tape on there attached some of the other pieces to strengthen it up until I had built enough of it and got it together with enough support that I felt comfortable pulling that tape off and there was another enough other tabs and other sections that are continuing to hold that together. If you look closely, you can see that the seam has split and there's a gap where it shouldn't be, but it's holding together. And you have to look pretty close to see that. So I'm rather proud of how that worked. I could have taken it a step further. While it still had the tape on it, I could have tried to maybe put some super glue in there to hold the seam together. I would like to try some UV glue. I've heard of UV glue that you can use. One of these days I'm gonna get some of that and try it. it sounds really promising. But I managed to save that part with these two fenders right here. When I was trying to attach one side, I couldn't get this top tab. It's weird how it connects. There's two tabs that come up front and the other tab kind of goes in from the top. And with the first 
fender. I could not get that tab in, and I was like, well, I've got the other tabs connected. I'm going to leave it alone. Went to the other fender, and I had success getting the other tabs in and kind of lifting and lifting that tab into place. So I thought, okay, I see another way to do it. Maybe I can do the same here, put a little stress on it, lift it, pop it into place. And I tried that, and by the time, by that point, the, the metal was so weak, the gold was so weak that one joint that it just popped off, and I wasn't successful. It's still, however, enough tabs holding it on that you really don't right away notice. I also had similar issues with the legs. You have this gold piece here that wraps around and attaches in an odd way. I'm going to split him in half real quick for this so I don't drop him. But you've got the gold piece that wraps around here, and you've got a gold piece that wraps around here, and there's weird areas that they connect. And both of them, I either broke a tab or had to glue a tab in because at first I didn't understand what the directions were telling me. Once I figured it out, looking back, it's fairly obvious, but initially looking at it, I think it was this leg, I couldn't understand how the tabs put into place, and I was thinking this was something that connected something else later, and I mistook one of the tabs for a part that may be connected to the hip, or I was trying to see it head in my mind to understand it, and I got it incorrect. By the time I figured it out, it was very difficult to get the tabs in. The tabs are in such corners that it's hard to get in there and twist them securely. And folding it only does so much good because of the pressure, it'll just pull itself out. So with this side, it ended up getting a tab in. I put some pressure on, I put some super glue, and I let it sit for a while. And then I did that with another tab. With this side, I started to get one tab twisted, but I twisted too hard and broke off. I can't remember which it is. I think it's under here. You can see it's kind of loose. So what I did was when I put the other tab in its place, and put some super glue on it, I sat it down and I walked away for a while. And if you watch my build video pieces, you'll see what I did with those legs, but I managed to pull it off well enough. Building these MU models, these big transformer models, you're kind of gonna, you're kind of gonna break something. And it's after doing 200 and some models as it is, I'm still gonna make mistakes. And you're gonna break something. And part of this is learning how to recover from that. And unfortunately with the MU models, you can't just go and request a replacement part. MU doesn't do that. Some of the things that I noticed early on that I really like about this model is there were some round pieces in here underneath what holds these door pieces on and these tires that are buried in here. There's some cylindrical-ish pieces and they've arranged the tabs on them so that there's an off-center tab or two tabs close together so that you can't get it backwards. One end is different from the other. And running this a lot with Metal Earth and with other models, there's a cylindrical piece and there are two tabs evenly spaced and you could, if you're not paying attention, get it on backwards. And it may not make a difference, but in this situation, because of the angles of the pieces, it makes a big difference. And they've designed it so that you can't put it on backwards. Furthermore, if you round the part inside out, it will not fit in its place. And I ran into that a couple of times where I rounded a part, a cylindrical part, not really sure which way I was supposed to round it because the instructions in some places are a little confusing or vague in this model. There were times where I wasn't sure which side was supposed to be the front and what exactly that meant and how to tell the difference. It would label something as front, but which side are you consider the front? I had some difficulty with that. But if you wrap it around the wrong way and you try to fit it and not, neither end fits, you probably wrapped it the wrong way and you need to try the other and the tabs are placed so that you won't make so many mistakes and put a part on wrong and then later on this won't fit, or it doesn't look right, or the hand's facing the wrong way, or the door is facing the wrong way. They've designed a lot of the parts in this model so that you can only put them on the right way, and I really like that. And when I was building the doors, there was a section of the door that once you folded the side out, two tabs kind of popped out. Really thought that was clever, really easy to do, but I enjoyed it. It was really clever how the tabs just kind of popped out and I didn't have to fold them. And speaking of tabs being off-centered or bundled together so you can't get things backwards, there was another interesting, uh, several other interesting incidences where tabs are placed at an odd angle and for a reason. On the hood piece here, there's a lip piece that goes around. And one of these tabs, and now that I've built it, I'm not sure which one, but that's like three tabs that hold that piece on. And as you're building it, you'll notice that one of the tabs sticks at an odd angle. And what that, the reason for that at least the reason that it looks like for me, is it's made so that if you start at one end and you wrap the part around, that angle tab allows you to easily fold and wrap the part around and over that tab without a problem. 
if you start on the other side and try to wrap and attach the tabs, it's not going to work because the tab is angled to go from one direction. There have been numerous times with other models where I've run into a situation where it was a tight fold and a tab there and it was very difficult to get the tab into its slot or the slot folded over the tab. One of the most notable ones that I get questions about from time to time, but one of these days I'm going to have to revisit Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing fighter. The nose of it has tabs like that where they're just straight out and it's a tight turn and it's very difficult to get those tabs in. It's one of the hardest parts of that model is just getting started. And there's been with Looney, with some of the Looney Tunes models in the feet, I've had that issue where it's just such a tight bend. If they would have angled the tab a little bit to accommodate for that curve, so much smoother. And they've done that with this part here and there were another couple of parts that I can't remember at this point, but I remember this hood piece was one of those. You put it on from one side to the other, it's not going to work. You start it the other side and work the other way, it's going to work just fine. Now that initially can be a little confusing, but once you understand the principle and the reason for it, it's a wonderful thing. As with any model, there were certainly instances where you have to kind of look ahead to see what's coming to get a part on correctly. There are situations where the instructions may say to curve something over, but really, if you look ahead, you shouldn't curve it until you've attached this next part. And I de definitely ran into some of those with this model. If you want more detail about that, you can look in the build videos to see. But really, if you just look ahead and try to see what's coming several steps ahead or the next page, there are some circumstances where maybe you can save yourself a headache to, or two by not folding a part in or a part over until you've attached something else first. There were a number of situations where you have parts like these top parts for the arms and there's a kind of an inside part for the leg that there's tabs that it really helps to flare the tabs out to get the parts in position. So again, looking ahead to know that this part comes together at an angle, so maybe I should flare the tab out to fit it in the spot or point it straight or point it inwards. There were several situations where it just, it really paid to look ahead and that's, this is no exception on that. I do remember, and I actually made a note of this, with part C125, I had a difficult time finding that part. The sheets for most of this model kind of laid out so that at one corner, on one side you start off at a lower number and it kind of either sweeps across or curves around and has a vague pattern of increasing numbers on the page and that works for most of the sheets and most of the parts. C125 was not, did not follow that rule at all. I, the 125s were at the bottom corner and that's kind of where I expected to find it and after uh, searching over and over in that corner I finally flipped back a few pages and found it on one of the sheets of paper and it's up in the top corner near the numbers, nowhere in the 100s. And that's one I just, I gave me a lot of trouble and I thought I would point out if you're building this model yourself, C125 is not where you expect. It's up near the letter of that particular page, a little off to the side. There were, towards the end of the build, I think it was this torso section and maybe a couple of other parts where there were a lot of pieces close together and I found it useful to take my pointy tweezers and kind of make sure the holes were clear and open before I attach the next tiny little delicate part. There were some instances where the part was slightly covering the hole and you just take the pointed end of the tweezers and work it in there and work it back and forth, cleared it out, and I was able to move on. There were some parts of the arms and legs where it was very confusing, especially with the arm pieces. There were some parts where it was very confusing trying to understand exactly the, where the folds were supposed to go and some of them were so complex. And I think it was this little piece in here and then it's kind of hard to see in here. There's an inside piece that has a lot of tiny little back and forth folds. One side, there is kind of an edge that you can go by, fold up and kind of use it as a guide to get most of those edges. The other side has like a gap in that edge, so it's very difficult to understand it. I just did the best that I could, did my best guess, and attached other pieces which were difficult to secure because there wasn't much room to get in there and secure them. But they kind of had to do it that way to leave something open for you to attach these extra pieces. I can see why they did it the way they did it. It's probably the best option, but it made it difficult and made it very challenging. And I, you know, you just kind of get the pieces together and do your best to adjust it as you understand and more parts come together. You begin to understand how that curve is supposed to be and you do your best to adjust it. These inner pieces that I did are with the complicated folds are not perfect, but they're well enough and in the end are kind of tucked away in such a way you don't notice the imperfections. Once you start piling other pieces on top, it kind of hides a little bit. 
but that is definitely one of the challenges is some of these parts it's just use the edges if you can as a guide if not do your best and try to work it out as you go this particular leg piece right here took me quite a while to work out because it is such an odd angle and in pieces and I got the basic shape of it and got it around and then as I got some of the tabs attached I was able to kind of pinch here and push out there and modify here until it started to kind of slowly warp into the shape that it needed to be to attach more parts so you may not be able to get the right shape or curve or angle at first but to work with it get some tabs together this leg part and some of the arm parts as you work it and modify it as you go along you can get it to where it needs to be another big tip when I was putting you start off by building the top section and when you go to put the magnets in, they just they basically just say to put the magnets in, and that's fine. What I did when I put this together is I took the larger magnets and I tried to make sure they were put in to the same pole orientation because magnets have a north and a south pole. You can't see it. You can't see which is north and south, but you can make sure that all the magnets are lined up so the same way. They're going to want to do that on their own. So I made sure to all line the magnets up and put the two magnets in here so that the poles are oriented the same way. My hope was that later on when I got to the next part, it would be easier to figure out how to place the other magnets. When I got to the bottom part and near the finishing the bottom part, and it come time to put the plate on that has the other magnets, what I did is I laid the plate on top of here and then I carefully placed the magnets in and placed one magnet in and let it flip to the right side held my finger over that, carefully put the other magnet in and let it flip to the correct side so the magnets were properly lined up. And then I took a pair of tweezers, the, the fine tip tweezers, carefully lifted it off and placed it on the model. Now, because these were both lined up the same, it didn't matter that I was holding it the correct way and then I put it from here to the other model the correct way when I was putting the pieces together. I could have accidentally put this part on backwards and then flipped it and put it on the other side it didn't matter because the poles were all lined up the same because both of these were the same the other two were going to be same even if I put it on backwards by mistake so in the end that did work out in my benefit and you definitely want to do that when you're putting these the other magnets in make sure they match up with these magnets or it's not going to hold together they're going to repel each other and if it repels enough it can actually knock a magnet on the inside out of its place and now the magnets aren't in the right place and aren't going to do any good at all. That pretty much covers the, the, the top-notch problems with this model. Not to say they're problems, but the things you're going to encounter. That's your main concerns right there. There's a lot more detail to it. And I did do a build video for each and every part. There's six different videos on this thing. And I tried to separate it out in sections and put the, top, the page numbers that I started and stopped on in the title. So if you run into a particular problem building this yourself, you don't want to watch the whole video, the whole series of videos, I get it. If you're just looking for the part about the leg or the part about the arm and you're on a particular page, you can just refer to that one particular video. I've tried to put it in the title so that you know which one is which. I've tried to break it up with what logic I could. Overall, I've already said it, it's a wonderfully detailed model. This model was given to me by MU I received an email after making the Megatron video. They wanted to thank me for that video and they wanted to send me their latest model. This is no longer the latest model because, well, it took a while for, they to, for them to send it to me. It comes from China, so it took it a while for me to get it and it took me a while to get around to making it. Time goes on. They wanted to send me the latest model. I wasn't going to say no. I'm very excited. This looks wonderful. Look how huge his feet are. That's just, wow, look at that. But there's just so much detail. The color, the gold, the silver. It's just such a wonderful mix. I really enjoy this. And I, and I forgot to comment with these fender pieces. Uh, the way, they're, they're actually several different sections. And when you look at it, it's like, how is that possibly going to work? But it does. The way the tabs are, the way you go down and pull the tabs together, it pulls itself together. A lot of times it's just connecting those tabs and then finishing the final curve and shape so that everything looks right. And the tabs for this fender and for a few other pieces really pull things together to make it easier on you to get the right shape. I really enjoyed it. I know I'm kind of putting my hands in front of it when I'm holding it because I don't want it to fall apart. The magnets hold it together fairly well, but they're not absolutely secure. I guess this would be a good time to queue up the 360 view of this guy sitting on that tiny little 
metal earth spinner that I've got. Really should find a way to upgrade that at some point. It's too big. He's kind of tilted off and, and leaning on his head a little bit, but you get a 360 view. Again, this took a full 14 hours to build. That's putting it together, that's chopping, finding and clipping out the parts, folding and shaping them and adding them together and everything added up all together, 14 hour build. And I love it. I'm absolutely loving it. This model comes in a beautiful colorful box. It's like a sleeve on top with a box inside with a tray inside of that. So it's pretty well packaged. It's up for the trip across the seas from wherever you're ordering to wherever you are. Inside the box, you have five sheets of metal. Uh, there is a large gold sheet, a sort of maybe slightly less than half side gold sheet, two large silver sheets, and a small silver sheet as well, totaling five different sheets. And the inside, you have instructions, which are more like a catalog. They're color on the outside, but the inside is pretty much black and white. Do not color throughout the instructions. There's 26 pages all together. The first bit has some you know, instructions about understanding the symbols and the assembly of things. There's several pages laying out the different sheets. So if you have problems finding things on the sheets, you can, on the metal sheets, you can refer to these. Now, unlike a lot of Metal Earth or Peace Cool models, the sheets themselves actually have numbers on all the parts or near the parts, and each sheet is lettered. Metal Earth seems to be making a change to where they're doing a similar thing. But the uh, sheets in here all have, there's A, B, C, D, and E, and a number of numbers on each one. So you do not necessarily need the instructions to find the part, though if you get lost and can't find a part, the instructions can help you out. It also includes some finger cuts, which I really enjoy the finger cuts that come with these models. They do end up getting tore up, so you can only use them so far, but I'd like to figure out where they get them from and get me some. And there's also five magnets of varying size that you use during the build to hold some things together. Overall, I have definitely enjoyed this build. It has been a learning experience. Working with so much gold has been a different kind of challenge. I've worked with gold before, but on this level, with this model, with some of the unusual bins, it has been a new challenge and experience overall really enjoyed it really loved it loving the detail the pose is very curious but i enjoy it the additional the addition of magnets to it has given another interesting level very much at this point like to work with some of the emu transformers models that have interchangeable parts i feel like this was kind of a test to see how the magnets would work in the design and i think it's worked really well maybe that's just me maybe i don't you know otherwise why would they make it in two separate sections but then again building in two sections that come together with magnets does kind of have a little bit of an advantage where you don't have this big model in your face while you're trying to work on this tiny little part so come to think of it that was a bit of an advantage right there and the amount of detail is always amazing in these models and all the different pieces they're much bigger so much more detailed really enjoy this model it didn't take as long it almost felt like it did take as long as the other larger models it's a little bit smaller kind of disappointing but not really but yeah just absolutely amazing again i do want to thank uh, gina chen and uh, mu for sending me this model to build and review thank you very much very enjoyable and i definitely do it again well at least i do it new model again i don't know if i'd actually build this again for someone else i tend to kind of always want to move forward and there were some definite headaches in this model i will say the second half of it seemed to be a lot easier than the first half the first half had more difficult challenges to it it's an advanced model so if you're not familiar with 3d metal models don't start with this one if you've been doing metal earth models and peace school models and maybe even some of like the hk models and some of the knockoff models that are a little more softer and easier to break if you've got a lot of that kind of experience under your belt go for it give it a shot but just keep in mind that these you can't get replaceable parts for and they're very expensive to try again so yeah if you've got some skills in how to recover from mistakes how to work with some glue and make things still stick together after you've broke them then you're ready for something like this so i'll leave it at that as always, thank you very much for watching. I have a whole series of videos on how to build this, as I've already mentioned. So check out my channel for those. I've also got Megatron, MU Megatron build, and an Optimus Prime build, which are probably a bit more complicated since they took longer. Thank you for watching, and keep on.
keep it out.